Hello everyone, this is me, it's the Grand Cat, and we have a very, very special and very cool unboxing, which is the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's Stardust Dragon, oh. which is pretty crazy because we don't even have any... 5D's or GX characters. Yeah, we don't have any GX characters or creatures, but we've got Stardust Dragon, which is from 5D's, and he is ginormous. Oh, yes. He's... Very rare, um, very not easy to get hold of, and he's number 10, 1064, so he's actually quite a bit earlier than Wing Dragon of Ra, but if we just compare the boxes, you can see that Wing Dragon of Ra's box is actually quite a bit smaller than Stardust Dragon's. Like, Stardust Dragon, is, like, Wing Dragon of Ra is already huge, you can see how he towers over the regular Funko Pops, but this thing is giant. It's the same size of box that Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon came in. So, and also the Pharaoh's Throne? No, no, Pharaoh's Throne was uh, the same size as the Egyptian oh, Gods, okay. so was Black Luster Soldier. But it's only this and Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon that came in this special super-sized box. Mm. So, um, let's take a look at it. So, on the back is the usual three. Now, this is from the main set. You know, these are your basic figures. It doesn't have the special ones. I do like this side image. It's got quite a cool look to yeah. Stardust. And Stardust Dragon has always been a very unique looking dragon. So let's open this up for the first time and let us see exactly what he looks like. He really is quite massive. Um, yep, on the back end. Oh, so the background's actually a little bit different. It's actually much, much bigger. And it's also silver. Yeah. Well, the other one is gold. I, I think, think the other one's silver as well. If not, yeah. I think the other one's silver. Yeah. I thought the other one was gold. So now let's take a look at big old Stardust Dragon. Oh, he so, base. Yeah, oh. he comes with a bit. Oh, he's not actually attached to his base. So well, that's quite interesting off the bat. Um, so here is his base. His base is quite huge. I mean, look at the base size compared to uh, Yami Yugi's. Um, mm. Obviously has the big hole grips here. He's actually got a scratch in the base. Just arrived that way. Ah, yeah, so factory issue there. Um, and let's take a look at Stardust Dragon. So he does have a fully modelled mouth, even though his jaws are open. He's got quite a, <laughs> quite a strange looking face as well. Uh, the wings are not actually connected to the hands or the feet, but they do seem to have a very specific pose. Um, Hi, this is, um... that you can see there. Uh, I really like the, the colouring on it. The difference yeah. between the silver, the blue, the purple. It all melds, it all melds really quite nicely. Um, um, it's got a lot of detail on the back, the spikes, the wings. Ooh, um, even the mouth is like everything is all really greatly detailed. Like yeah. From the, I, think, I don't know if that's like a lightning bolt type of thing or something at the top. Um, I actually like Yeah. Ah, it's like really good. You know, his head actually kind of reminds me of some of the demons from Doom. Um, just the big horns on the side. Yeah. Mm. Also, like his face looks kind of a bit like a shark. <laughs> like, I'm wondering if they've taken different aspects here. Uh, also, look at the detail on these hands. You know, like it's, it's difficult to see because the wings do Take just completely over encompass this. Ah, um, so the claws as well have so much detail. Also, the wings are only attached by these two little small bits at the back here. Really? You can see that the entire wing is actually separate and it's only actually attached through these bits here. So, do be careful with your Stardust Dragon if you um, are able to get one. Yeah. Um, so, he does have these big holes here. And, like The feet are actually very well detailed. He's got like back claws at the base of the feet as well. So uh, let's try and set him on to his little Basin. stand. Um, is, uh... Ah, right, okay. So his legs do need to separate a little bit uh, just to actually reach there. Ah, um, so it's maybe something that the factory things. Hang on, if I if I put one foot in, I can get that in, and then I should be able to lift the other foot onto the secondary peg. Without using too much force. Yep. 
it's just a case of uh, sometimes even with temperature. Mm. Um, but the thing is, like Stardust Dragon is solid. You know, there's very very little flexibility in them. Um, you know, I mean, this is the kind of figure that isn't going to damage. Uh, really easily at all. Yeah, I mean, he's going to be. Very, very sturdy for a very, very long time. Ah, uh, now you got the <laughs> I know, I saw that there. Um, I don't think you can... it's going to come in anytime soon. No, the, the feet are just in a little bit too... Stiff together. Yeah, they're a little bit too far apart from one another. But you can just have one peg open and then have it like that. And the thing is, even though Stardust Dragon comes in a giant box... Um, he's not, like, ginormous. He's not... I mean, like, Slifer's actually really, really big, and Stardust Dragon is just a tiny little bit taller than him. Um, it's not a tiny but, boy either. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, there's, there's so much detail that goes into both of these, into both Slifer and Stardust Dragon. Mm. Um, whereas if we compare this to Ra. someone like Ra, you can actually see that Ra is quite a bit chonkier than Stardust Dragon. But... Um, like, Stardust Dragon is, again, very, very solid. Big, solid creature. Yeah. And so, how Stardust is, he's more, like, crouched in a bit. Yeah. That's what it takes away from a bit of his size. Exactly. So, I mean, if you imagine that it full... Full, like, full stretched out. Yeah. Everything. It would be quite a bit larger. So, I think Stardust Dragon is very, very cool. Pretty solid. Yeah. Our, our very first synchro monster as well, synchro Stardust Dragon. Synchro. Yeah. Um... Do we even have any fusion? Oh, we've got Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. We've only got Blue Eyes Ultimate. Yeah. We don't have any other fusions. I, I mean, technically, Five Headed God Dragon, but that's, that's actually um, from Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, <laughs> so, someone help me out here. What's it called again? Tiamat. Tiamat. Yeah. The Queen of Dragons? Yeah. Yeah. Just um, yes. Yeah, so hopefully, maybe in the future, we get either more fusions or. Like synchros, like maybe like Drunk Warrior. Yeah, um, or uh, maybe Flame Wingman. No Drunk Sync. Maybe uh, Cyber Dragon, Cyber End Dragon. Um, Cyber End Dragon would. Yeah, those really would be nice. those would be pretty cool. Mm. Uh, and maybe Rainbow even Dragon. some GX characters, or maybe some Five Ds characters. Rainbow Dragon. Um, I, I would pick up a I Rainbow think Dragon because they made Stardust Dragon. I suspect the next one that they might go sideways and make might be Red Dragon Archfiend. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. the, um, yeah, the Singer Dragons first. Yeah, yeah, so like Black Rose Dragon as well. Well, Power Black Rose Tool. Dragon would be very cool. As Power a Tool Dragon. Well, technically, it's... Oh, it's um, yeah, all, life... Ancient Fairy Dragon. Yeah. Ancient Fairy Life Stream. Life Stream Dragon. Black it. Wine Dragon is technically one of them because Crow did yeah. become mm -hmm. singer. Maybe. Yeah. Mm. And um, I can't remember the sign. You've started off with Red Demon's Dragon. Yeah, I like how you call it a Red Demon's Dragon, it's Japanese theme. Yeah. Uh, Black Rose Dragon, Ancient Fairy Dragon, your Life Steam Dragon, and Black Feather Dragon. Yes, but I think that would also be cool if you get the like Earthbound Immortals. Oh, that would be very cool. Um, Curry is one of my favorite characters. So uh, what, that, that's the Kika Pack of Poo one, isn't it? Um, the that's, that's the giant. Ah, but uh, he's the one that uses Inferno. Uh, ah, Cur okay. Curry was the original leader of Team ah, Satisfaction. So, yeah. Kai, um, and what about the actual Sinner Dragon? Yeah, they the only showed up in... Like the first... Well, it shows up in a couple of episodes and it showed up... No, no, it, it, well. it became an actual card, um, but it was like much, much later on. It's like way after 5Ds. Mm -hmm. I think it was maybe into Zexel by the time that we actually saw it. if Zexel was to get a Funko Pop, it would be Utopia. Yeah. You know, or mm. the Vibrant Dragon. Well, that would be quite a cool thing. See if instead of just making... Like, okay, we've made all of Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, here's... You no, know, now we're going into GX, now we're going into 5Ds. Mm -hmm. If they just went... Here's the main creature from 5Ds, here's the main creature from GX, GX. here's, Zexo. yeah, you know, here's Utopia, here's, um... Neos, maybe? Hopefully, maybe, for yeah. the future? Yeah, uh, I was thinking Flame Wingman, but yeah. Uh, yeah but, I mean, even there. stuff like Ancient Gear Golem, I think would be pretty cool. Rainbow Dragon. Oh, uh, all, all of the Crystal Beasts. All seven. <laughs> that, would, <laughs> that would be, that, that would, would be, be a cool very looking, interesting actually. one to get. Yeah. Uh, they, they would need to bring out a Jesse as well with you that. Want 16, you want the Dark, Dark the, I don't, I had, What's I don't really think. interesting is uh, we've got Dark Magician, we've got Silent Swordsman, we've got uh, Dark Magician Girl, 
Uh, we've got blue eyes, we've got two blue eyes, we've got blue eyes, Ultra Dragon, we've got red eyes. Blacklist uh, We've got Exodia, we've got Blacklist Soldier, and so on and so forth. But they haven't made a Karibo. And I feel like oh a Karibo would be the easiest Funko Pop to do, and it would look the best. Ooh, so but, No, uh, but what form of Karibo? Just plain Karibo? Yeah, I think plain Karibo, and then you can, like, you know, Wing bring out Wing Karibo nice. later, you know? Aye. It's just the exact same figure, but just with wings. <laughs> and then you can <laughs> just, like, start making, like, Sphere Karibo and... Get the Karibo brothers. Just yeah, Cur Karibo, uh, Curry Babylon. Curry um, Babylon. Do the long. Yeah, okay. so on and so forth. Yeah. But yeah. Anyway, um, back really to Stardust Dragon. Um, that is going to be the end of this lovely review of Stardust Dragon. I hope you all enjoyed our uh, rant towards the end there. <laughs> um, thank you all so much for watching if you watched through to the end. And if you enjoyed this, give us a like, share, and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon so you can see when more of these videos go up. And we will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.